Vibe coding tools like Lovable, Cursor, and Bolt allowed people to create apps without writing a single line of code. But these are all mostly one feature apps. Anytime you want to vibe code advanced workflows or AI agents, everything just breaks. But people are starting to realize that you can just build agents on these no code workflow tools like N8N and plug them into your vibe coded apps. These are what I call vibe coded agentic apps or VAPs. And that's exactly what we're gonna be building today. We are going to create an AI agent workflow on N8N, no code necessary. Then we will vibe code an app from our phone. Then we're going to connect the N8N AI agent to our vibe coded app. And finally, we'll show you the four AI agent templates that you can download. Let's dive in. Okay, to do this, I brought Mohammed. So this is a full NAN workflow with an agent, but today I want to show you how to build one from scratch. Let's go ahead and go home. And to create a new workflow, you're just going to hit this button on the top right, create workflow. And here you're brought to your canvas. So every single NAN workflow starts out with just like nothing on it. Just nothing on it. We first have to add a trigger. And there's a lot of different triggers we can choose from, like app events. But today we're just going to do a webhook. With the webhook, we can hit it whenever we want, wherever we want. So we can trigger it ourselves. Yeah. So, so we've created this webhook, but it's not connected to anything. It's not connected to anything. So let's go ahead and connect it to the new NAN tool of AI agents. And this, this tool right here, I do want to add. Before this, you would have to be very technical to create an AI agent, yeah. right? Like yeah, yeah. it's very hard to create, but this visual interface just makes it a lot easier yes. to understand. And it's also really fun to make as well. So what are those three little things yeah. sticking out of them? So the three little things, are, we have chat model, memory, and tool. So let's start with chat model. It has a lot of different providers you can choose from, but today we're just gonna stick with Anthropic because the Claude model is the best agent model out there right now. So before we can get started with with anything we're gonna have to add our own credentials here we have our own but in case you don't just go ahead and create a new credential so whenever you want to use any API which is what these are called yeah. right if you want to use open AI if you want to use anthropic grok doesn't matter you basically need a key that connects whatever tool you're using this into to your account right and it n makes it easy to kind of centralize these keys without having to know how to code. You plug it in, now you have access to Claude. Yeah, exactly. And if you still need help with that, NAN has a lot of docs for these. And it'll okay. tell you how to find the key and put it into NAN. And after that, you're all set. It'll work for just not just this workflow, but every other workflow you create. Amazing. So after you have your credentials set up, they also have memory, but we'll go over that in a future video. And we're gonna go over to tools. And NAN has a lot over 400 different tools you can give to the agent. But as we promised, this does take some time to get used to. To make it easier on you, we actually created a template database and it's actually really easy to use. Yeah, so once you head over to the description, there's a link with these three templates that you can get started. Um, you just go ahead and open them, scroll down and copy this JSON. Let's go ahead and get rid of this, Command V, and the entire workflow is there for you. So, so the same thing, like we have yeah. the same chat have, model, but now we have all these other tools. Yeah, we have these five different tools that the AI agent will use. When it wants to. When it wants to and reasons to, yes. So the first tool it has gets the allows the AI agent to get the date and time. And then the second one, Google Calendar, allows the agent to create a calendar event. We also have a Notion tool which allows the AI agent to add things to our to-do list. And then we also have two Slack tools, which allow the agent to get all the users in Slack and then send a message to a specific user. And what's cool about agents and what makes it different than what many of you guys have seen likely with Zapier, Make, these aren't just like linear paths, right? You have an agent and you have a really smart AI agent, right? These Claude, the new Claude models are built to be agents out of the box. Exactly. They are built to use tools. And so we're basically giving it access to these tools that it can use based on whatever our, our input is. Okay, so how do we actually send something into this AI agent? Yeah, so going back to the webhook, NAN gives you a URL and you can paste that into any vibe coded app. I've already went ahead and built one. We're actually gonna be building an app just like this in just a second. But just to show you how it works, you wanna just- I have the webhook set up to the app and I'm gonna say, create a calendar event at 7 p.m. today to clean my car. Also, send a message to Riley saying, good job on the podcast. And go ahead and test the workflow, go back to the phone and let's send it to NAN. Amazing. And now the AI agent is reasoning and planning its steps on how to complete the task. 
Amazing. So it, you sent it in from your phone app that you vibe coded, and now it's thinking about what tools it needs to use. It just decided that it needed to find people in your Slack. It sent a message on Slack, and now it's adding an event on the calendar. Yeah. So let's let it, let's let it finish up. Okay. Success. So let's see the results. Let's go to the calendar. Clean my car. Seven to eight p.m. Amazing. Now let's go check Slack. Let's go check Riley. Good job on the podcast. Amazing. So you literally were able to build an app on your phone and without writing any code that yeah. we're going to talk about in just a second. Then you created this AI agent without writing any code on N8N. And then you use this webhook so that your phone could communicate with this agent. And in one command, you got it to basically check your calendar, send a message on the calendar, and then also message me on Slack in that, one single. That's exactly input. right. What I want to do is I want to dive into actually building the vibe coded app that can connect to any N8N agent. So I'm starting off exactly where you just were after you pasted the template into N8N. And here it is. So we have this AI agent right here and here we have the vibe code app. So we're going to be vibe coding an app on our phone, right? Let's go ahead and just design the front end of the app first before we do any web hooks. Sounds so good, yeah. what I want to do here is I'm going to say, please create an app, a chat interface, and I want to be able to chat with, uh, AI. So use an AI model. I want to be able to chat with AI, make it look retro and have the background be like dark blue have the header text be like neon green and then make the body text white instead of ever putting anything in like a component circle or like a rounded rectangle underline things okay that was a long prompt we can now press generate you try it out on cursor windsurf try it out on lovable if you want to create a web app now, i actually wanted to make a, a mobile app like a native mobile app so i'm using the vibe code app so so it is now bundling and so our initial ooh. Oof. That's kind of that sick, nice. actually. Look at that. So this is the app that we've created right here. And yeah, retro terminal AI. AI. And so um, we can enter a command. I love this. Hello there. Send. Processing. Ooh, and the AI works like out of the box. Okay. This is actually so sick. Really good for one prompt. So what I actually want to first do like right away um, is I actually want to go home because I want to save the AI chat for later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna duplicate this project. So this version, I'm gonna turn into the, uh, web, the hook web hook one. one and I'm gonna keep the AI chat. Awesome. Uh, now, I wanna completely change the way that this kind of the chat works. It should, the, the, the display of it should be the same, but instead we're gonna hook this up to an N8N workflow. And I want to be able to send in, how would you word this? Send in webhooks. Send in data to a webhook or how would you word it? I would just say send text to a webhook. I want to be able to send text to a webhook. Um, and I'm going to give you the webhook URL in just a second. Um, I want to be able to send in uh, data into that webhook. I want it to await the oh, response from the N8N agent and uh, display it on the screen. Perfect. Great. And now while it's transcribing, we're going to go over to webhook. We're going to click on this and we are going to grab the test URL, which is right here. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste that into our app. So we're going to say here is the uh, URL for webhook. And now we can paste it in. Now we are good to go. All perfect. Amazing. So now our app directly from our phone and remember, you just copied and pasted this agent in and you can customize this agent. You're going to have to set it up to your own account, but that'll take you max like 10, 15 minutes. And then you can build an app on your phone like this. This is our second prompt in like four or five minutes. And so like we're looking at a total of 30 minutes so far. And if this works, knock on wood, um, we're going to have a fully vibe coded agentic application or VAP on our phone. And keep in mind, we have written zero lines of code so far. Okay. So it's done. It says you may need to reload to see the update. I always just reload it at the end. So now it still has all the old data in here from before. Um, oh, can we clear? What does that do? Oh, Whoa. wait, what the heck? System <laughs> initialize any end workflow online ready for input. What the hell? That's awesome. Okay. So now we're going to send in some information. So before we do this, Remember, I passed in my test URL, meaning 
This is really cool because it allows you to like really see where things go wrong when you're testing. Right. Um, but the thing that you need to do is you literally need to hit test every single time there is a, like every time you use it, right. Which is kind of annoying, but it allows you to kind of see this visual, which I think is the coolest part of NAN. Right. There's also a production URL that you can hit wherever. So you don't need to test the workflow for it to work. You can just be anywhere. Send it through and it'll work. If you press this button up here, that makes it active. If your workflow is active with the webhook, you can hit it at any time, as many times as you want. And if you come back, you hit executions, you can see all of the executions that happen on that webhook. Yes. Which is really cool. Yep. Okay, amazing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test and see if this works. Please add eating pizza to my to-do list. Send. Can I come with you? <gasps> Damn it. Okay, so as you can see here, it successfully triggered the web the webhook, but it actually didn't the data probably wasn't formatted correctly for the agent to like right. ingest it. So you can actually look into this. This is no prompt specified um, no, JSON body text. So I think that just means it got it in the wrong format. What's a good fix for this? What would you say? It's super easy. NAN shows you the exact JSON key that was sent. So if you go ahead and click on the AI agent node. AI agent node. Yeah. And then on that left sidebar, it shows you the webhook that it received. So you can scroll down to the bottom and you should see your message, which is body and then message. And right now it is set to body.txt. So click on the prompt, the user message. The prompt user message. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and change that. And instead of body.txt, we're going to do body.message. Okay. So we're going to remove this. And then you can go schema, right? Yes, yeah, so you can also and, just drag it in as well. That's super yeah, easy. Yeah, I like doing that. It's easier for me for my non, I don't like to ever type things when I don't have to. It's going to be wherever, whatever we said, right? Please add eating pizza to my to-do list, right? And so we have this prompt user message, right? And it needs to get the thing that you said. And so look yeah. for the thing that you said when it fails and just drag it in. Perfect. There we go. It lights up green. Let's go ahead and test this agent is thinking right now amazing i love how workflow executing that looks so good on <laughs> the phone right so there nice. that looks really good okay added something to the calendar and boom it sent a message on slack and let's go ahead and check uh the slack i'll just check the slack muhammad uh hey muhammad just wanted to give you a heads up there's a pizza eating session scheduled today <laughs> at 7 17 which in it came in one hours. minute ago, 7.17 p.m. Pacific time in about three hours. Hope you can join us for delicious pizza. So yeah, and so it also added it to the calendar and you get the point, right? I recommend just like looking up tutorials and try to figure out like if you use Asana, if you use a convert kit, right? That's another thing that we use. Like you can automate a ton of things and try and use AI to figure out how you can create useful agentic workflows. Because not only can you create tools, right? Not only can you create these like standalone tools, we can take this entire, we could take the whole workflow without the webhook and make it a tool that an AI agent could call, right? Right, right. yes. That's insane, actually. Yeah. Like we needed, that should be our next video. Yeah, and if you guys have any suggestions about any type of workflows you guys want to see, just let us know. I yeah, think we can start doing them. Yeah, hundred percent. And we're also creating a community. So if you go to vaps.ai, v a a p s dot ai, you can find our community, and that's where we're going to put all of our templates. I'll see you in the next one.